Life is joy. Life is pain. Life is sunny. Life is rain. It's not always easy to talk about our storms, but when we do, it bears fruit. Fruit that will last in the hearts of the hero. Here's a moment of truth with Talking Truth, where we discuss topics and issues that puts the spotlight on our life transforming God. It's Talking Truth, where we bring truth to light. Hi, and welcome to Talking Truth. Yes, we have another exciting program ready to share with you today. My name is Dan Hanson. Just in case you're joining us for the first time on Talking Truth. Usually we have the lovely Marsha Wade with us, but unfortunately she's not able to join us today. And so we ask that you keep her and her family in your purse. So you might be asking the question, what is it that we're going to be talking about today? And interestingly, we're going to be sharing with you about parenting, and the church. And listen to me, viewers. When I look into the Bible, when I check from Genesis right back to Revelation, there are so many issues as it relates to parenting in the church, parenting as it relates to family. Some of us become, you know, when we talk about our parents, it brings hurt, it brings pain, it brings disappointment. Some of us, when we talk about our parents, we are so happy about it. Some of us have had bad experiences growing up as, as children, rather where we've been told that we look like we poopa, we behave like we poopa, we are this, we are that, and so on and so forth. So today we really want to talk truth. Yeah, we want to delve into the matter of parenting and what the church has to say and the church's responsibility as it relates to parenting. So don't go anywhere, call a friend and invite them to come and watch Talking Truth. Zane, so... Today we have two interesting guests. Yes, 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 I'm already excited. Two very interesting personalities. And let me tell you something, them full of stories, full of excitement, full of drama, full of experience as it relates to parenting. Very interesting couple. They have two sets of twins. And I'm not going to say anything further. I'm going to take a break right now. When we come back, I'm going to introduce to you our guest today on Talking Truth. We'll be right back. You are watching MTM Television, the Caribbean's largest Christian television network, taking truth to nations. Keep watching. You'll be blessed. So welcome back to Talking Truth. And as I said earlier on, we're going to be talking about parenting and the church. And joining me today on Talking Truth is the Reverend David Grant. And his lovely wife, Minister Gillette Grant. Just to share a little before the come in and time so I'm ready for talk, you know. Um, Minister Grant, or right, better yet, David Grant, Reverend David Grant, he's a pastor at the Jamaica Evangelistic Center located in Kingston, Jamaica. They're also the founders of Odigia Global Service, which they will tell you a little bit more about that. And as I indicated before, they are the parents of two amazing sets of twins. It's all God bless them. <laughs> two sets of twins. Welcome, my brother and my sister, to Talking Truth. Thank you Talking so much. Truth. Amen. Yes. Thank you so much, Thank you. Yes. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Yes. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. you know, ready for Talk Truth? <laughs> They both start talking. Can we tell the truth? <laughs> yeah. it's a gentlemen before ladies this time. Well, it's, it's scriptural, you know. It's scriptural. Adam came before Eve. Before Eve. So, <laughs> so, so we get it yeah. wrong when we say ladies before gentlemen. I don't know. Or the men allow us to go yeah. before. Well, my mother told me that her, her former teacher, yeah. when she was younger, mm -hmm. saw a call and said, You always say ladies before gentlemen, so you go. So I guess, you know, ladies are to go before. When there's danger, <laughs> if, it seems, if that is what he was saying on the scene. But so it, it might be nice to be with you. you know, amen, always, always. amen, amen. But you know, what amazes me, you know, as we're talking about parenting, right? And we, it's so important because when I, you know, looked at, you know, some of the things that impact the church or affects the church and affects our society, mm. the Lord led me back to parenting. And so when I looked into the, 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 the scripture, I looked at Genesis and I see some things that did go on in a Genesis, mm. yeah. Some things that were not so, so right. Yeah. And then from the beginning. Of course, of course. You know, we see examples of, of parenting in the Bible. And when I look, I see where Abraham sent his servant to assist him in identifying a wife. 
for his son, Isaac, right? Mm -hmm. So we see parenting being displayed and showcased. But a lot of times when we, when we preach it in a church, we don't let it seem like it's parenting, but that's part of parenting. It is. It is. Yeah. It is. It is. And, and you also have the negative parenting yeah. there in Genesis as well. Right. You, know, you look at um, a situation of Cain and Abel. Mm -hmm. You know, how did Adam and Eve really poured into them? Yeah. Both, you know, you, you hear it by it at some point. Yeah. You know, so there's both the negative and the positive parenting. Right. But right. I want to encourage persons that you know, when you read the text yeah. and you're looking for role models, don't try to look at the negative part. <laughs> okay. Read it, you know, read and it learn from right. it yeah. and learn what not to do. Yeah. Right. And as you talk right. about that, we can look at even Esau and Jacob. Yeah. You know, right. Rebecca favoring... Um, Jacob, Jacob and vice versa. Mm -hmm. Very interesting story and birthrights being mm -hmm. stolen, stolen and all mm -hmm. of that. And if you leave a fast forward in today's world, we see similar things being yeah. happened. You right. know, one parent favors a child over another. Mm -hmm. We could go on and, and on and on. You know, and yeah. but you also recognize what it creates. Yeah, when, when that happens, mm -hmm. when, when there is partiality in the family, yeah, others are left wounded, right, and the next one feels comfortable. Exactly. Uh, it, it creates that division, that rift in the family in that the family, sometimes yeah. doesn't heal. Yeah. Because you know, we're of our unwillingness as mm -hmm. well to heal. Parents die and you have these situations where funeral arrangements to be made and I mean it's just crazy what I go through. And a soap opera goes on. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A so, soap opera so goes still. on, yeah. <laughs> but as we move forward to the New Testament, we see in, in Ephesians um six where it says children are to obey their parents in the Lord. And we know that we learn it at Sunday school. And it says parents are not to provoke yes, their children. To provoke their children to yes, wrath. to wrath, yeah. right. And 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 so we, we are being guided in the Bible mm -hmm. as to how it is, you know, but I believe that while there's some information in the Bible, some things are spirit led, or we can learn from others like yourselves, right. who are excellent parents, you know, have a wonderful marriage and have very, very good children who are examples who really, really have been contributing to, to our nation, our nation building. But as we talk about parents, I want to ask the question of you. Uh, what you believe are to be the, the role of the church as it relates to um, parenting in today's world? Uh, well, for me, I mean, I believe we have a very critical role to play. Yes. You know, um, a number of things just ran, ran through my head a while ago as we asked the question. One of them is that um, the Bible is the manual for all living things. Right. Right. And that's where we preach from in the church. Right. You know, and there are aspects of the Bible that I believe we're not tapping into, like the parenting situation, mm, right. like you said. Um, so the responsibility is there for the church yeah. to really mm -hmm. propagate that message of right. good parenting. Yeah. Just the other day, Jet and I were in um, Whitfield Town, mm -hmm. you know, a church yeah. invited us down there. Yeah. It's Pretoria Road United. Yeah, man, I know <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Invited us to do a parenting mm -hmm. seminar. Right. And when I look at the, it, was the parents from the community. This wasn't just the church parents. Yeah. We got yeah. parents from the community. community and yeah. they were sharing because that, that, the couple of nights that they yeah. had, yeah. we did the last oh, night. Right. Right. And they were saying how much they learned and even how yeah. this could lead them to the Lord. Right. That's what the parents were saying. Yes. Wow. So one of the things your husband said to me, Basil yeah. said to me when I was going to take up the pastor at the church, he said, David, you are not going to pastor a church. Yes. You're going to pastor a community. Wow, yeah. In the past, our community. Yeah. So the church has that role. I mean, we have Sunday schools, yes. Yes. We need to have parenting schools, mm -hmm. I believe, yes. you know, mm -hmm. where we can really invest in persons, yeah. train them up, and yeah. that we should not even wait, really, yeah. until they become parents. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so you're saying we're still being proactive. Proactive, right. yes. yes. And I, I don't, don't think the church has really been proactive. Yeah. But let me back up. You, do you think we really understand what parenting is? For the most part, I'm not sure. You're not I'm sure. Not I, know, sure. I, I, I don't <laughs> yeah. think we get it. Yeah. yeah. Because, because most of us got, got pregnant. Yeah. Um, early. Yeah. Without no understanding. We yeah. just met a man, a man, meet a girl. And yes. Sex happened and yeah. baby come. Right. So there was no preparation in our, in our head. Maybe yeah. sometimes the ladies have a little bit more than the men. Yeah. Because of the whole dolly. Because of the whole dolly. <laughs> taking care of dolly. You yeah, get dolly at, at Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Dolly from your tree. Yeah. 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 So you're cooking dolly here. Yeah. 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 Yeah
yes. leaves. <laughs> yes. So I think the ladies would have had a little bit more advantage of yeah. what it could be. Yes. But I think maybe emotionally, yeah. we really don't know. Yes, I love that stuff. Because sometimes I think parents want to be the parents of a child, but also their friend. So, and this is why I ask: Do we really understand parenting from a biblical, from a Christian perspective? Because a lot of times, persons, but I don't have any children, so I'm not a parent. Mm. You get my point. What exactly is parenting? All right. Parent, parenting is really about. I would put it in a broad sense, yeah. raising the next generation. Amen. You yes. know, raising, I and mean, for the church context, no, I would yeah. say raising a righteous seed. Yeah. Raising the next generation, a righteous right. seed. We all have that responsibility. And we talk about, um, yeah. like here in Jamaica, right. where we used to have the village yes. raising the child. Right. You know, the community. But wasn't that right? Shouldn't it be the church raising the child? We're, we're part of that village. <laughs> we're part of that village. Yes. So, and I believe we should play the key role now. Yes. You know, in raising that child. Yeah. And what, what I also come to know right. is that if you're going to raise them, we can't just raise them in their bodies alone. Right. Your physical person. Yeah. Because sometimes, sometimes we raise them physically. Yeah. Like we give them the nice clothes and the yeah. nice shoes. Yes. Yeah. We send them to the best school and, you know, we give them all of these little wonderful things physically. And it, and it makes them feel good, you know? Right. And it, it makes the parents feel good, good. Oh, yeah. you know? That's yeah. how yeah. yeah. I'm going yes, to do it too. Yes, right. <laughs> and then there is the emotional aspect yeah. of who we are as well. That, that sometimes that is not being tapped into. Yeah. Worse the spiritual. Yeah. Because we're a threefold being. Right. Spirit, soul, and body. Right. But sometimes we... We, we take care of the physical, yeah. but we leave out the emotional and the spiritual aspect of a child, yeah. and it robs the child. Or we think one can compensate for the other. You know, if I give the child the clothes and, you know, they will feel love and that will just satisfy all their needs. And it says three components, you know, that makes up an individual. But I want to, you know, ask you to, to tell us what was your experience like? Because some persons might listen and say, I know this man, you know, but. <laughs> But tell us, because sometimes people want to hear practical experience. I mean, one in a shot of words, and a nag of. May I start? <laughs> May I start? Let me the truth, the talk tell you. Um, this might be a shocker to you and yes. to your audience, but I grew up saying I never wanted to have a child. You know? But most people would say that, you know, Reverend Grant, I always end up with more than what they I tell persons that God have a sense of humor, because yes. rather than having a child, yeah. We keep having children. Yeah, every so, time it's, yeah, it's, it's two. Yeah, it's different children. <laughs> so she got third time, it will be six. No, 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 no. We lock that box and throw with the key. This is a bigger trick on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, but, but um, I always said I never wanted to have a child because yeah. of how I was raised. I was right. brought up. My dad lived when I was eight years old, yeah. and I never saw him again. Right. You know, and I know what that felt like. And I said, wow. I never wanted to do that right. to a child. You know, but the Lord helps me. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this, it's yeah. definitely the Lord that helped yeah. me. Yeah. Because I remember when my kids got into their teenage years. Yeah. You know, hormones and testosterone now chipping in and people starting to be like adults. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, God, I don't know what to do. Yeah. And I remember one day, seriously, yeah. I said, laid on the bed and I said, Lord, if you don't do something, Somebody got dead in here. Mm, and, and it's coming where, from a past. And then, but the thing about me. it, it's, it's real. It's yeah. based on how you were feeling. Yes. At the time, yes. yes. I, I cried. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, I <laughs> cried. Yes. And from that day, when I turned those kids over to the Lord, mm. you know, He helped me to raise them. Person yes. told, Oh, you have wonderful children. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> they are wonderful children. Yeah. Oh, God exactly, is yeah. great, the grace yeah. of God yeah. and the wisdom of God, you know, right. being able to listen to the Holy Spirit. Yeah. I, I share one experience I had, if you don't yeah. mind. Yeah, yeah, man, go on, man. I remember my son, you know, yeah. my only son, my only yeah. son. Well, <laughs> yes. You know, we had a little thing one yeah. evening. He was like 15, 16 at the time. Yes, yes. And um, I always talk about this, that yeah. I want parents to understand that yeah. you need to listen to the voice of the Lord. Yeah. I remember we had this argument one evening and I'm calling his name, you know, and he's responding to me, yes, yes daddy. Because he's not a teenager, you know. Yeah. That's a fed up, you know, having the base number. Yeah. Yes, daddy. And I said, Joel, yes, daddy. Joel, yes, daddy. Joel Grant, yes, daddy. Joel Master Grant, yes, daddy. And I'll be honest with you, Dad, my hand was twitching. I'm, like, I'm a Jamaican father. Yes, ma'am. You don't miss me. Come, you're listening. I'm not pastor or not no so, pastor. Not so. No, I'm not getting nothing, you know? So my hand started twitching. 
And in my mind's eye, I, I saw myself getting up, yeah. boxing him. Mm. And I was watching him face up. Mm, I feel good about it. Eh? Yes. <laughs> you know, I didn't watch boxing. I didn't watch the <laughs> 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 oh, Yes. And right here, the Holy Spirit said to me, yeah. remember this morning. Because yeah. the Holy Spirit and I had a conversation in the morning about my life when I was his age yeah. and my behavior. Mm. And all I could do at the time was just point at him mm. and say, devil, you're not getting my son in Hallelujah. the name of Jesus. You're not getting my son. Hallelujah. And he just began to cry. Of course, I was happy that he was crying, but I was sad that it wasn't because of my box. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and then you know, both of us, was, yeah. you know, we hung up, you know, hugged it and we were just there crying. And then Juliet yeah. came in, of course, you know, yeah. she, she wouldn't miss a crying fest. That's all. <laughs> <So, laughs> so she came in and all of us were there crying. Yeah. And I tell you, yeah. My son and I, we have a wonderful relationship. Amen. I know for a fact, if I was disobedient to the Spirit of the Lord that yeah. night, I would have lost him. Yeah. I'd have lost this relationship. So Can I tell you what was happening with me? Yes. When I heard him yeah. and heard what was going on, I'm around the back and I'm holding close and I'm hearing all of what is going on inside this living room. <laughs> and I'm like, Father, in the name. Yes, man. I take her back. Yes, man. Yes. 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 And now in this house, I saw the blood of Jesus reveal yes. over this family in there, man. Jesus. Yes. I went into warfare yes. because I recognized that the enemy wanted to come in to bring the bitterness back. And the world, the world, I would tell you, the world of any woman, yeah. any female, any man, if you hear some contention and strife going on, yeah. go back to the Father. Yes. Call him. Remember the situation yeah. when they were in the, in the, the ship going over? Yes. Mm -hmm. And the storm came on the yeah. ship. Yes. And what they did was say, Jesus. Jesus. Yes. So what they did around the back was say, Jesus. Woo! Yes. They stepped into the city. Yes. <laughs> but, but, you know, that is the wisdom of God. Yes. You know, and, yes. and, and the thing yes. about it is that as, what we find is that, as, that, that sometimes parents, as parents, we tend not to be humble. You yes. know, yes. I am yes. the parent, yes. and I say, yes. and what I say must go, and I put food on the table. Oh, come you on. know, if you can't do what me do, you go through the door. Yes. No man, it's my way or the highway. <laughs> and then guess what happened? The children them take the highway. Yes. No, yes. it's just that it. No, we don't know it. Same time, and them heart, they already yes. take the highway. Yes. Yes. Them yes. check out in and say, "Listen, man, me they find the highway. Yes. No, yes. me in your house, but me yes. at the highway. It's me just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. Yes, definitely." I would tell him my down, my downfall in parenting was um this anger level yeah. that I had. Wow. Yes. Yeah, uh, minister Juliet, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my anger level was yeah. crazy. It, it was, was mad, mad. Yeah. It was just crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> talking <laughs> truth, tearing up, praise God. I remember um one of my girls at that point we were struggling, you know. Yeah. Mm. Struggling in the different in finances and just different places in the relationship and the family. Yeah. And I remember at that point we didn't have any money, Dad. Yeah. And one of my girls came and said, Mommy, yeah. I want something to eat. Yeah. And I said, I was trying to be nice and I yeah. said, as soon as I get something, I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> Five yeah. minutes. Yeah. And she came up, Mommy, I love it. And she left my present weeping. Yes. Weeping. Mm. And I and I, I don't know if I felt bad. Mm. All I know is that I just give her a piece of my mind because yes. she did it to get it. Yeah, she deserved it. Yes. Yes. Someone like she's dead. Yes. 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 So <laughs> So when I sat there, I just hear the Holy Spirit say to me, you need to apologize. Yes. In my Jamaican black woman head, mm. me apologize to the people. Mm. No, no, parents don't do that. Yeah. We, we don't do that. Mm. What we say, go. Yeah. 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 And we're always right. right. Yes. Yeah. So I, I, I am checking out. God is talking and I'm checking out. Because yeah. I came into humility. I will tell you. Yeah. It, it, <laughs> I calm down, you know, to, to be able to call her back yeah. and say to her, I, have, I want to apologize for my behavior. Yeah. I shouldn't have dealt with you this way. Yeah. Mom is totally wrong, and I'm so sorry. Yeah. Can I ask you to pray for me that I'll be a better mommy? Wow. Yes, I re remember saying that to her. I want you to pray for me that I'll become a better mother. 
and I guess she was the free. Yeah. Because I became a better wife. Hallelujah. Glory. But, but it, it shows, though, that Mr. and Mrs. Grant, how important it is for us to remain humble, yeah. to, to hear, as I said, God and to be obedient mm -hmm. to God, but how God perfects parenting mm -hmm. as, as, as we go along. Right. right. Perfect, right. perfect right. the art and the skills of parent, of parenting. Yes. Yes. And this is why I say, we lean not on our own mm -hmm. understanding, yes. you know, but in all our ways, including parenting. Right. Yes. yes. We are right. to acknowledge him right. and, and he will direct okay. direct our path and i'm happy for the practical examples mm -hmm. that you have shared you know in terms of how you would have raised your children and and just being honest with them yeah. in terms of you know listen i get it wrong at times oh, yeah, you man, know yeah. i get you it wrong you know mm -hmm. just so many times parents get it wrong 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 wrong, wrong, wrong. And, and and we just behave like boy well, we get it right and so the reward of being honest right being open yeah. Having frank conversation is important. But quick question though, do you believe that a parent ought to be a friend? You know, because some parents say, me no one want to be my picnic friend. Mm -hmm. You know, do you believe a parent ought to be a friend to, to their child or to their children? I believe that they need to be friends. Yeah. Because, because if you notice, they tell the friends now. Yeah. In, an, in, in, in a natural order, once you find somebody comfortable to reason to stop it, you're going to talk to that person. Right. So if the parents can come to that place, yeah. bring in the balance, yeah. being able to stand up when it's time for respect. Right. All right, let me share an example. Yeah. All right, so we gave our children opportunity to, to talk, yeah. Yeah. to say what is on their mind. Yeah. We gave them, gave them that opportunity from early. Yeah. Yeah. So I remember them taking the opportunity, <laughs> raising their voice, yes. mm -hmm. and feeling like, yes. you know, they are parents. When I'm outside. Yes, they are parents. So I'm, I, I just... They said they make full use. Yes. Oh, so, oh, to the point of abuse. <laughs> so I pulled back a bit, and I said, I appreciate what you have said. What you have said. Yeah. But I don't like the tone. Yeah. Yes. So it allows you to correct. So it allows yes. you to correct. Yes. So instead of becoming, oh, you yeah, shut up. Yes. Yeah. 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 So I'm <laughs> like, um, I like what you had to say, yes. but I don't like the tone. Right. I prefer, prefer you to use this tone. Yeah. So don't you don't tell them that you don't, don't like the tone and don't give the correct tone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. You need to be able to give them the tone that you prefer. Well, I'd, right. I'd rather you speak to me in, our, in yes, this manner. Yes, in this manner. Right. right. So we can teach our children by giving them some amount of power. Right. Right? right. Yes, because a lot of times we want the power for ourselves. Yes, <laughs> it's true. Yeah. So as we say, so friendship is important. Yes. So, so if, if, if you give them that space to speak yeah. and you don't cover them, yeah. And made them feel as if they are the worst child you have and the worst, yeah. you know, yeah. worst child around. Yeah. Then you give them, you give them relationship. Yeah. So if one they have and the ability to communicate, because as you mentioned that when I was growing up, and I was put in the corner, that my brother and I, my brother and I, are here apart, and my mother used to say, "You must be seen and, and not heard." So you were never given the opportunity to express yourself, right. but your children were given that yeah, opportunity. Man, we, we, we told them. So how do you know that this was something that you needed to do as part of their growth and development? Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit again. <laughs> yeah, because, uh, remember, no, I never want to have anything but doing them things there. Okay? But the other part I really enjoyed. <laughs> I'm assuming it's a part of changing the nappies, right? Right. He did, he did. Oh, For me, you know, yeah. the categorizing friendship, you know, yeah. understanding what friendship is because yeah. um, I believe that there are different levels to friendship, right. you know, and you have to be very careful in the yeah. same breath mm -hmm. that you don't allow the child to think that yeah. you're, you know, and them on the same level. Yeah. You know, yeah. but there must be that space, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There must be that space that they can feel comfortable yeah. to come to you as the parent to say, hey, mm -hmm. I'm going through this. I'm thinking this. I'm feeling this. Yeah. You know, many kids commit suicide. Why? Because mm -hmm. they're not able to speak to their parents. Mm -hmm. You know, don't be so... There's no relationship up. there. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it has to be yeah. there. Yeah. You know, I'm glad that we have that with our kids for the most yeah. part. For the most part. Yeah. <laughs> probably, probably so. some part in the teenage years where they figure they don't need, yeah. yeah. I remember when my neighbor was struggling with maths and even the report card came, it was very, very low. And my sister said, Oh, he didn't say anything. He said, Well, I don't know if there's any maths, but I didn't say 
<laughs> it's amazing to me that they think if they can't meet, then you can't, you know. Yeah. And 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 during 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 them growing, you become the, the child, you know, mm-hmm. and they become the parent. They know everything, right? Right. Know everything, you know. Because the teenage years. And yeah. Teen- we teenagers know everything. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Weren't you like that? <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you too. I remember at one point, yeah. one of the kids came home with a letter. Yeah. A boy, a boy gave it to her on mm-hmm. the bus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and she had the access to come and show it to us. Wow. Yeah. And we sat, sat down and we read and we laughed. I hope that young man not watched it. I'm pressure. <laughs> 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 hey, we sat hey, down. talking truth. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> we sat down and reasoned this letter out. And she was, she was okay. Yeah. So it was, so yeah, she wasn't was flattered or anything like that. She was that. flattered, of course. You're getting nice things. You know, she was honest enough to, yeah. to be able to open yeah. it up. Yeah. So, so you, you could at least guide her, yeah. you know, as to how to stand. Yeah. 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 Well, what do you believe make you more successful parent? Two words. Yes. Two words. Yeah. Holy Spirit. I know I'm going to sound very pastoral now and you know, all super spiritual. It's all like the reverend, you know. Yeah, yeah. the reverend speaking. Yeah, but one thing that helped us though yeah. in our teenage, when the kids were teens, yeah. was when they were about 12, mm-hmm. you know, 11, 12, going there, mm-hmm. we were in Ocho Rio, so we stopped at a bookstore and yeah. we, my wife saw this book, oh. um, The Five Love Languages of Teenagers. Oh, yes. by Gary Chapman. Chapman, right. yes, right. ma'am. One of my favorite said, Honey, We need to have this book because, you know, the kids are getting to that stage, mm-hmm. you know, and it really, 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 really helps yeah. us. Yeah. So, so information is important. Yeah. yeah. And we, we can, can suggest, suggest that you read ahead. Yes. yes. That's, That's what, what I did too. Yeah. I, I read, read ahead. Yeah. So, like, yeah. they're going to be 13. Yeah. So, so, I read ahead. And I'm like, okay. What to expect? What to expect at 13. So, by the time they got to 13, I have a full understanding of what I need to be looking for. Yeah. So when I see it, mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, all right, this instance. Um, so we went out as a family. Normally when we go out as a family, we sit together. together. Yeah. That's what the grants do. We sit together. Yes. And I remember at that point, my son walked away and went to another space by himself. In my Jamaican head again. A maniaton. <laughs> So that's all that is going on. We go out as a family. <laughs> You're supposed to be sitting with us as, as a family. family. Yeah. Where are you going, boy? Grant. You know, no, grab him and sit down here. Sit down here. You're not a man. You're not a man. Sit up. You can take six rather than a man for yourself. <laughs> but then, then I remember the book shared that they're trying to find their yeah. identity. Yeah. yeah. Independent. They're trying to become yeah. independent. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. So the point is just testing me yeah. to see if I'm going to allow him to become independent. Yeah. Because that's what they're testing you. Yeah. To see if you're going to allow yeah. them to become independent. Because sometimes as parents, we call them as children still. Oh, yeah. While they're in their teenage years, we're trying to become adults. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We still see them as children. Yeah. And so we, we, we capture them mm-hmm. and keep them stiff as children yeah. when they need a, a privilege to become. Yeah. Or is it that some parents don't want to let go? Because mm-hmm. I find it. That with even with my nephews, I still want to call them and call them my bambino. Yeah. And they look at me and like, oh no, yeah, that's yeah. no, that's what, what, what happens. Like, you have you're, you're ten you years, have grown. exactly. You're ten years. They have grown, but yeah. you have not grown. Behind. Yeah. So, 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 so when I saw him sitting yeah. over there, I just let him. Yeah. And, and we, we sat, sat by ourselves mm-hmm. as parents. Mm-hmm. Just, every, every now and again, and you just look over to make sure that he's okay. And then we don't. Then he came back over. Yeah. yeah. So, so it was his first, it's like it was his first place of challenging us yeah. to see if we're going to give him space to become. Yeah. And, and sometimes we rob them of that yeah. space. Mm-hmm. And so they don't, they don't become independent. Mm-hmm. And it's part of growth. It's, it's part, part of the development process. And, and, and the development process. Yes. 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 But the thing about it is that, you know, your story is so interesting. You know, we tend to delve about, you know, the teenage years, which is more the critical, because when yeah. they're younger, they, we know the challenge. They just of, follow. Mm. They just follow, yeah, mm. and they, they adore mommy and daddy, but the mm. more they get older and yeah. they begin to develop and start to reason things and mm. to have their own opinions and perspectives, ch- things change. But in terms of just sometimes some of the hard topics to talk about, to talk with your children, some of some of the hard topics. You know that if you're talking to them about sex, um, relationships, I remember one yeah. incident where um, we're in our beds yeah. and one of our daughters came in the bed crying, crying, yeah. crying. I'm like, 
Eventually we found out that some guy broke our heart. Oh, yeah, so you know, as parents, now we had to walk oh, through true. that with her. Tell us a little bit about that. <laughs> <laughs> so hold on. So, you know, in parenting, some parents have certain rules, right? It means so. so. He's a disciplinarian, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> no, let me tell you. One thing I can definitely point out in my family yes. is that Juliet is a shopper. Yes. When it comes down to back to school and stuff like that, yes. that's her thing. I don't do downtown. <laughs> Sorry. All right? But when they are ill, yeah, I step awesome. into action. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. To be Dr. Flinkland. Yeah, that, 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 that was my name when I was growing up. Dr. Flinkland. I was supposed to be some Japanese doctor. Like that, you know? <laughs> David takes down with such bad. Yeah. I have to pull myself to him. <laughs> but when you hear like a daughter's heart broken, how do you deal with that and not? Do you feel her pain? What was that like? All right, so so we walked it. Yeah. So she and I walked it. So sometimes she'll just come and the tears are far. Mm -hmm. And she's like, yeah. and she's explaining what is going on and what, what she's dealing with and how, how painful it is. And you want to just embrace her. Yeah. In moments like that, you don't want to say much. Right. It's, not, it's not. It's not time to say yeah. much. Yeah. You so just. She just wants your comfort because so she's reasoning it out. So the more she's able to talk with me yeah. and reason it out, it's the less the pain becomes. Yeah. Right. Until she's over it. Over it. Yeah. Right. But, but so, it's good that she could come to both of you and you know, just cry. Yeah. 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 That that was an experience for me. <laughs> the inexperience that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the, the I remember at one point um I was in the kitchen. So, so at this point, point they were in their they, they were in more, more in their social life now. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they develop spiritually. Mm -hmm. So now it's their social life that that, that is now being developed. Yeah. And, and they, they were given access based on the church, church that they were going to. So they were going to open Bible, um, open miracle open. So they were they had a social setting. So this moment they are gone here and they are gone there with friends. They are in um. They have been competitions and they're totally involved in what is going on. So the transition, the transitions are important. Important. Yes. But how do parents identify the transition? And we said read ahead, but how do they identify the transition? Because I think sometimes, and I find that, as I said, sometimes we want to hold on to them. We know that they're 10, but we treat them like 5. They're 15, we treat them like 10. You know, how do we as parents transition? So the children are transitioning as they develop. But sometimes as parents and as, as aunties, we don't transition along with them. Okay. Do you want to answer that? <laughs> You're doing well. <laughs> All right. So once you see them start responding in a, in a, in a negative kind of manner, mm -hmm. it's an indication. Yeah. Once you see them start moaning, mm -hmm. I want to see them don't want you to give them the, the kiss on the cheek like you used to. Yeah. It's an indication. It's a behavioral change. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you, yeah. so you have to know your child yeah. or your yeah. children. Right. As you, as you said, that, I, I remember I saw a friend of ours with a picture of her son, mm -hmm. both of them standing at Calabar Gate, you know. Yeah. And so I was teasing her. I said, yes, boy turned man for you. And I'm like, yes, he didn't even want me to kiss him goodbye. So <laughs> I got a bargain. <laughs> yes, I got a bargain. Hey, listen, you, class. you have to grow up now. You have to grow up. There's a parent that after I need to, yeah. need to grow up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you, 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 you do that till at home. Yeah. Where they can appreciate. Yeah. You know, where they can appreciate. Yeah. That the girl, yeah, the whole kind of they're like a personal yeah. space yeah. for that, yeah. but not yeah. the public. I'm mm. yeah. 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 becoming an adult, yeah. you know, you do the same exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a person my friend might laugh at me and take pictures, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they're talking oh, about the them. all boys school, <laughs> yeah. Huh? I went to Calabar, I know what the culture is like. <laughs> Right, you know, they have a color. <laughs> We've got up all of those guys who went to color bar, rubber lack. Well, like, like, like. But, but those persons who are watching who say, Listen, you have perfect children because some mm. persons will say that you know, I am having challenges with my child. So, we're talking to no, yeah, you still have those children, no matter how they grow in a 
good balance mm-hmm. home, end up whether smoking, drinking, yeah. Yeah. you know, indulging in things yeah. that they aren't not to indulge. What if, if if there are persons watching right now and have indulged, what would be your advice have on um parenting for for children? <laughs> Because the issues are real. The issues are real. Yeah, the real issues are real. I am a strong believer and mm-hmm. proponent of counseling. Yeah. Yes. Seek counseling. Mm-hmm. And don't seek counseling just for the child. Yes. Because yeah. yes. 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 as parents, we do need that counseling mm-hmm. to, you know, to help us, as I said, to make that transition. Yes. You know, it's a very important transition. If you don't make that transition successfully, mm-hmm. then you can just really mess up the whole family right. setting. If a child is giving you problems, I would want to also, and, and I'm speaking yeah. from a parent's perspective now, you know, yeah. that you, you pause and do some introspection. Right. right. Yeah. Be honest with yourself. Be truthful to yourself. Right. Am I really doing this right. thing right? Right. You know, if I'm not doing it right, where am I wrong? Right. What do I need to do? So, mm-hmm. You know, and this is again, you say, you go seek the counseling. Mm-hmm. Talk to other parents, you know, right. that you think have good children, right. you know, right. <laughs> perfect children. Talk to them. They could be able to share some things right. with you. Mm-hmm. You know, I said, I want to challenge you in right. doing so. Um, don't just be locked up in your own little world, you know. Yeah. Going this, through is by yourself. Yeah, this is my yeah. issue. And mm-hmm. then, listen, let me tell you something. Yes. Mm-hmm. Come on, Rev. <laughs> <laughs> All of us have issues. Yes. In parenting, raising our children. All of us have issues. Yes, definitely. Right? So whether you are archbishop or chief apostle, mm-hmm. or you're the janitor for the church, or you just live around the road in the community, all of us have issues. Yeah. And it's only fair that we share with each other. Yeah. You know, let, let us not know, think that that person is better than I am or that person is worse than I am. Because the person that you might think is worse than you have yeah. the information or the knowledge that you need. Right. So, so true. We must engage in community. Yes. Yeah. And that's one of the things I want to encourage us as parents to engage in community. Mm -hmm. We have the men's fellowship. We have the women's fellowship. We have the parents' Parenting fellowship. fellowship. And that's the point because when I look at parenting, a lot of times we take the children to Sunday school and once they come along, we feel good. But Mm -hmm. is it that they're they're growing? Is it that that's enough or do I need to take my child's spiritual interest at heart and look for... Because that's always Mm -hmm. taught for the, the various prep schools and primary schools mm-hmm. and send our children right. to learn and give them right. a good education. Yeah. Are we doing that mm-hmm. as parents? You know, and I believe, you know, that the Lord is requires more soft Christians that we be good parents. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because because children right. are yeah. an inheritance. Right. Right. And if they are, then they must be treated as, okay, as, right. you know, right. as, as such. Right. And I believe that we can do more, as you said, by having a parenting ministry mm-hmm. and having more Parenting seminars talks and, and yes, talks. Yes. So and just go out sometime as parents. As, and and you can model so that people can say, oh, then I saw this, that's so and so deal with our issue or problem. Right. Perhaps I can look and deal with it as yeah, the same way. I'm honest. Yeah. Be honest. One, one of the yeah. things that really irritates me is yeah. how many ministers, many pastors are yeah. not honest. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, because I get to, yeah. the, the, the culture of the church generally yeah. is that we must mask. And, pre- and present a yes. perfect family, mm-hmm. yeah, perfect child. We're not yeah. in heaven. Yeah. We don't live in heaven. Yeah. Our children will act out. We will act out. And yeah. all we need to do when we have done so, repent. Yeah. Acknowledge it, repent, and learn. Amen. Move on. Amen. And move on. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. One, of One of the biggest issues we're having is yes. this level of anger yes. that we deal with as yes. humans. Yes. Yeah. We're angry. Yeah. I was listening to something the other day, and the gentleman was saying, before you raise a child, Raise, raise yourself. yourself. Wow. So, so sometimes we want to raise, raise them and we don't even know who we are yet. Yeah, yeah. So, so we, we don't even know how to raise them yeah, because, because we have not yet gotten to the place where we... Even but something we don't even love with love yeah. ourselves. Yeah. So, so we don't even know how to give that. Give the love back. The truth is that some of us did not get it. Yes. Mm-hmm. So it's hard to give what you don't have. Yeah. Yeah. So it means that loving yourself. So sometimes it means that the parents have to go back and look at themselves to an introspection right. mm-hmm. and see where they have fallen short. Right. Because I believe that a lot of the issues is coming sometimes if you check back. I didn't get any love from mommy mm-hmm. and daddy mm-hmm. or aunt or grandma and I, therefore I don't have it. So I can't, I can't you know pass it. on yeah. you know, what is not and there. And some people overdo it. Yeah. They recognize mm-hmm. that they didn't get it. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't get it. Mm-hmm. So now I'm going to give it. And, and it's yeah, tainted yeah, because, because there's no discipline. Yeah. There's, there's no, no, no reason to stop. Yeah. So, so the child still don't get it correctly. Yeah. Yeah. One of the most annoying statements yeah. I hear is um, 
when disciplining children, yeah. it never kill me. Yeah. It never kill me, but now it kill you. Come on. But what you the, did not like it. You did the not. The fact that you remember. Like yeah. The fact that you remember, remember. you mentioned it. Yeah. Yeah. You mean that it didn't burn you? Yes. You want to tell somebody two things. Yes. You want to tell somebody two things. You know, it, it's important that we, if you want, learn. Yeah. Educate yourself. Yeah. Go to the workshop, go to the seminars. Yeah. Listen, children are not like wild color loops. They yeah. don't grow like that. You have to culture them. You have to nurture them. Mm. Amen? Yes, ma'am. Are you with somebody? Amen. Amen. With, with the church with me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you have to do that. So educate yeah. yourself. Right. And after that prayer, you know, I began to read, I began to ask friends questions, I began to yeah, learn, learn more. You know, what it is to be a well, father. Well, you open yourself to the, to, to, to learn, mm -hmm. and the Holy Spirit teach you, but you also, the Holy Spirit nudge you, mm -hmm. because some persons are sitting like they need to sit down, and the Holy Spirit, I got to stop mm -hmm. and don't yeah. know, but sometimes you have to read. read. Sometimes you have to read, yeah. <laughs> you meditate, you know, you come up with something, yeah. when you do it, you realize that, that was not meditation at all. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing about it, there's no perfect parent. There's yeah. no. And, and one of the things I want to ask the question, do you believe that a single parent can actually raise a child? Yeah, because doing there's it. so many <laughs> single parents. Yeah, they're forced to. Yeah. They're forced to. You know, they're doing it. Um, for me, I, let me I, I believe that it can be done. Yeah. Um, but mm -hmm. what, 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 what? To what dimension. Yeah, to what yeah. dimension. Yes. You know, to what dimension. Because God made man and woman. Made Adam and Eve, made a father and the mother, mother right. to raise the child. Mm -hmm. Because in the father there are some things, mm -hmm. in the mother there are some things that the child would need. Mm -hmm. Now, being a single parent, whether you're the father or the mother, you are not the mother. Another thing that annoys me, yeah. annoys me, yeah. my mother who fathered me. <laughs> No mother can father. No, no mother can father. Mother can only mother. Yeah. mother can, thank you. Mother can only mother. <laughs> she probably will learn some things from the males around her, yeah. and she can invest some of mm. that in, in you. Yeah. But no, she yeah. cannot be a father. Yeah. Yeah. Cannot be the father. So I, I just learn. Open up yourself to yeah. learn. Open up yourself to grow. Yeah. Right. You know because um, the society we have now, right. the society that we have dealing with now, yeah. is partially. Yeah. Based on parenting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's possibly based mm -hmm. on parenting, mm -hmm. how we have been raising our children. Sure. This is something I've been preaching for some time now. Mm -hmm. um, in Jamaica, we currently have what, mm -hmm. what I consider um, a culture mm -hmm. of baby mothers, a stream mm -hmm. of baby mothers yeah. for gun men. Mm -hmm. Why is that so? Yeah. I am a firm believer that one of the reasons it's so is because when we look at our kids, what do we give them yeah. at Christmas time for toys mm. in their formative years? Yes, what we give gun. the boys guns, yep. and we give the girls dolls. Yeah, right. And then now we tell the boys they are not to play with their sisters' dolls. Yeah, but I have learned, and I feel like I'm a preach right now. Yes, oh, yeah. go ahead. Yeah. But I have learned that when a boy plays Dolly House, yeah. there's only one role he can play. Mm. Or he should be playing, <laughs> and that's uh -huh. father. Yeah. No, if he's not playing father, then you need to call him aside. You know, have a, a, a meaningful yes, conversation yeah. with yeah. him. Yeah. Right? But we yeah. have robbed our boys mm -hmm. from learning that sense of responsibility. Right. So, so very early. Very early. Yeah. So remember, it's their formative years. So we yeah. have the girls now mm -hmm. treating the dogs, mm -hmm. you know, handling the dogs, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah. And even to now, Sorry, I don't mean to offend anybody, but yeah. we have a number of ladies who are having children and treating them like they're dogs. True, mm -hmm. true. They're, they're not real human mm -hmm. beings. Being, yeah. You know, it's when they start to grow up mm -hmm. and I start to answer your back. And you realize that that's <laughs> my money. You start them when you should have. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's a valid point. That's a valid point. So it means that we must then pay attention to the earlier years right. and make sure that the, the foundation, the proper foundation, is laid. Mm -hmm. I, I want to say something on yes. that. I mean, and I, I mean, the anointing is upon me now. Yes, amen. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> yeah. But I, I learned something when Jude was pregnant with the first of twins. Yeah. The Lord taught me that David, the children in her womb. Well, we didn't know it was children. Yeah. At the time, but it was like mm -hmm. ten days before she was delivered. Yeah. That we found wow. out. Ten days. Right. Yeah. The second, the second set of twins. It was when she was delivering that we found wow. out. Wow. All right. No, we'll have a dramatic life. <laughs> <laughs> 
what was I saying? Yeah, when, when, he was, when he was pregnant. Yeah, when he was pregnant. You know, the Lord yeah. spoke to me that. They're, they're alive in the womb. Yes. So I could lay my hands on our tummy. I could speak over yes. them because the, the, the child is alive. Right. You're meeting to the spirit yes. of the child. Yes. And I learned too yes. that the memory of a child begins to develop at six months in the womb. Wow. Right, so I'm encouraging those, encouraging those of you who have not yet begun to have children, yes. that when the time comes that your mm -hmm. wife or your significant other is pregnant, yeah. you know, lay yeah. make that declaration. And guess yeah. what, too? Yeah. Ah, Hallelujah. You are, mm, <laughs> you are the father, mm -hmm. yeah. right? And that child bears your DNA, yeah. right? So that the DNA of that child will reverberate to the sound of your voice to right, form God. the character of that child. Don't let me start. Uh, yes, my go ahead, man. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, send your love offering. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but on a serious note, yes. that men, mm -hmm. we have such a vital role to yeah. play in the, the raising of our children. Right. I mean, I am so annoyed when I hear the breakup of families, you know, yeah. and then the mother is saying, you're not going over there because I don't want to set mother range you. But yeah. the child needs to have a relationship with his father or her father. Yeah. Do not rob them of that. Right. It's a must that they have that relationship, relationship. man. Yeah. You might not like the father anymore. Yeah. You might not like the mother anymore. Yeah. All of a sudden, them ugly and whatever, yeah. you know. But when you're making the child, I'm so uh. <laughs> Please don't rob the child mm. of that. Yeah. You made a mistake, you yeah. did something that was wrong, you don't yeah. like the relationship anymore, but do not rob that child yeah. of the other parent. Yeah. And, and, and sometimes, sometimes in the pregnancy, they, they can sense, sense the rejection too. Yeah. So the yeah, child starts from the womb. Right in the womb. Yeah. 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 Right yeah. So sometimes yeah. they get, they get, you have the child, and, and the child, child is feeling so rejected, so yeah. blue. Yeah. Every minute they're downcast and sad. And the fruit runs. The spirit of rejection just runs through them. Right? And then they end up wanting to commit suicide. Right. Right. Or wrong choices. Looking, looking for love right. in the wrong places. Right. Yeah. When it should have been, been given, given while they were well, pregnant. Yeah. So right. what right. Reverend Grant said is so true. Right. Speak to the child yes. from, from, from in the womb. Mm -hmm. Speak into that. But what about that parent who is watching and says, listen, my child knows 16, you know, can I still speak <laughs> oh, yes. to that child? Oh, can yes. I yes. still yes. speak yes. over yeah, that child? Let me start here. Yeah. That you need to look back at where you went wrong yeah. and apologize because yeah. that is what will open the door yeah. for your child to know, listen to you. Yes. Don't yes. just rush in now. Oh, I have all this knowledge now. Let me just impart mm. it. Come here to me, Sharika. Yeah. <laughs> Sit down here, so. I'm going to tell you. No, 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 no. Yeah. Sharika is going to be looking at you, but Sharika shut down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Or Tamika, whichever it comes, you know. Yeah. And she has the first the change in you. Yeah. So you yeah. can't expect the change in her and in the child. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's what is happening sometimes, you know. We want the child to change, but we're not prepared to change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we're the adults. Right. You know, we're the bigger one, you yeah. know, them small. And, and not remembering that the child will become an adult one day. Right. And, and recognize that you were wrong. Not <laughs> only that. And, and as you talk about that, there are, and I want to touch on it because yeah. there are times that there's bad blood between adult child mm -hmm. right. and the parents because of the wrong that was done right and that was never corrected never addressed but they love the parent but mm -hmm. you know and so how do we encourage those who are watching and say listen reconciliation is important i will share my story mm -hmm. um my mother and i things got shifted between us when i started talking to them more <laughs> um and so yeah after, After a while, you understand her, where she was coming from. from. Yeah. Right. So, so I could see and understand that and could really deal with her pain. Right. But um, I remember just walking through, not being able to reason through stuff with her because um, I don't think she wanted this. Right. And so because she didn't want this, I said, it don't, don't make sense. I pull her in. Yeah. I became the wedge between them. Yes. Wow. Right. But, but I kept on praying that the Lord would restore the relationship. We could still see others say hi, but yeah. it didn't go far. far. Right. The relationship was not, not as it should be. Yeah. And I remember um, I got an opportunity that all of us are siblings, my sister and my mother, yeah. and I were in the same place at one point. And I remember saying, I've got to talk to her. The Holy Spirit is prompting me. You need to trash this out. You need to get this out. And and allow it to be mended so the relationship can become what it needs to become. And I remember 
my heart throbbing like crazy and beat pitter patter pitter. But it's like there, there was this urgency. There was something beyond me that was saying, you've got to do this. And you've got to do this before all of your sit up. And I remember um, the last day I, the, I was... I was in America to at that point. Right. Yes. The last day I, we're heading back home and I say, I cannot go back home and not do this. This is the moment. This is the time, you know, to just share my heart. And I remember I was able to say, Mom, scared like crazy. So once you're going to do something right, yeah. once you're going to approach to do something correctly, the devil will don't want you to. So there's going to be fear, yeah. there's going to be doubt, there's going to be wondering. I wonder if she's going to blow out of proportion. I wonder if she's going to insult me. I wonder yeah. all kind of negative thoughts. But I want to encourage you to push beyond the negative thoughts Amen. and make up your mind. Even if, Restoration even, if, yeah, yeah. even if she insults me, yeah. even if she don't appreciate what I have to say, I would have gotten it off my chest. Yeah. And that is what it is. And she would have known and how you feel. Yes. No, you know. yes. yes. And there are times that it don't happen the first time right. with when, you, when, you, when you communicate your feelings. But mm. as you go along, the understanding. Yes. Because the truth be told, we don't get to choose our parents. Right. We don't get to choose our right. children. And they're ours. They're and, <laughs> and they're ours, you know, and they are yes. ours. And, and they're ours. But so let, me, let me finish. Yes. Oh, yeah. So I was able, <laughs> yeah. so I was able to um, talk, talk with her and yeah. share my heart with her. Yeah. And the mom so on so on yeah. and so on. And she's like, I'm not gonna give it to you, yes, I can give it. Oh, I just wanted to just trash it out. Yeah. I just wanted to share it. Oh, the release. Yes, I just wanted to share it with you yeah. and to just let it go. Mm-hmm. And she just stopped in her tracks and she sat down and she listened to me. Yeah. And we were able to pray together. Hallelujah. And mend the relationship. Yeah. Today we are at a better place. Yeah. I can call and say, Mom, you know the Lord. <laughs> Yeah. You know. But I believe that mending is important, yeah. and even as we talk about parenting, some person's experience might not be like you and I own, but it may be one of thorns and disappointments and things. You know, we want to pour into their lives. You yeah. shared your testimony, but we want to pour. We want to speak into their lives to say, "Listen, my man, you know, this only God can go into our path yeah. and make it right. Nothing else and nobody else can do that." I remember having a quick face with that situation. I said, God, I want you to go back and correct that for me. Mm. And I said, when I don't somebody really pray that. <laughs> <laughs> but he did it. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Mm. But we realized that, you know, he is a supernatural working mm. God. And there are persons who might be watching now and saying, listen, I feel broken. Mm. Parenting, uh, you know, I, I, it's either they may have failed in that area or they feel that their parents would have failed them, probably going to church, and that part of their life needs to be addressed. But the sermon will come, you know, a preacher Sunday morning time that Reverend Grant is yeah. preaching, you know, about no. give generously. No. Now, no. Reach, no. Reach no. now, reach the first yes. Yeah, that is having, that is struggling as a parent. Yeah, yes. you know. Because the truth be told, I started going to church because my mother thinks that's the best place. So my mother said, send me to church. Oh, it's yes, the culture. It's the culture. Oh, yeah. Send me. Yes, you know, no, post no, me. And <laughs> send me. You understand me? Send me with the neighbor. Mm-hmm. Send me with this. Send me. But eventually, she became, you know, a Christian. And, and you know, we could go on and on about right, parenting right. in the church and so on. But we want to speak at this point in time. This is time to just speak and to encourage those who are Face with the talents who are broken, who are really stretched to the limit mm-hmm. on either in on either side, as we need to say. I would say to our parents right now, a parent right now that is going through a difficult time. Um, as we talk about how to respond, yeah. One of the things that I had to learn was how to communicate yeah. my thoughts. Yeah. I went to a seminar and the, the person was sharing. And instead of saying, you always, you never. <laughs> yes, that okay. kind of yes. defense. Yes. So, so people don't deal with you always. Yes. 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 That builds a defense so people yes. can't receive what they have. Them not receive. Don't we hear that in our right. show? So, so, yeah. yeah. so, so what the, the speaker was sharing was how important it is to share with them yeah. how you feel. Yeah. Yeah. When, when this happened, happened, I felt this way. Yeah. So, so as we, communication is one of the ways yeah. to, 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 to restore relationship. Yeah. As painful as it is, yeah. good communication yeah. can help to restore it. You, you might feel angry right, right now. Yeah. I would suggest to you that you learn how not to be angry. Yeah. Read, a, read a book about anger. 
Read the scriptures about anger. What God says about it. The word of God says, put away anger. It's something that you can put away. Amen. Just like you can put away your clothes, you can put away anger. Amen. So it's a matter of choice. Yes. So you either will make that choice to put it away, or you will keep it and, and damage yourself forever, damage your family. And so communication is one of the ways out of a difficult place. And wait, don't expect it to happen right away. Yeah. Because, because what, what has happened has taken take years mm-hmm. to be built up. Yeah. Right. So don't expect it to be just done away in with one, right in one go. Yeah. Give it time. Yeah. Give, Give it patience. Just, just one, one, one moment at a time. Yeah. If you feel yeah. like your mommy loves ice cream, yeah. no, mommy, I carry ice cream for yeah, you yeah, man. Just little things. Little things. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, little things. And I'm just chipping away yeah. bit by bit. Yeah. You'll be so surprised as you chip away to the child as well. Yeah. You might have a rebellious child. Yeah. And to the child, we say, just chip away bit by bit. Yeah. Know what the love language is. Yeah. That's another yeah. story. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know, know if the, the love gives, know if the love um, time spent, affirmation. affirmation. Yeah. So find out just by, by you doing little things for them, yeah. you'll see what lights them up. Mm-hmm. And the more you do those little things that they enjoy, yeah. you begin to see the things just start tearing down. Tearing bit by bit. Yeah. So be patient. Yes. Please be patient. Yes. As you take the journey back. Yes. Yes. And you would have had four children with four different personalities. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And one of the things I've learned, I've not touched on it in the society, it's just the different personalities. And don't say to one, you know, why are you not coming like, you know, come no. see on this one. Oh, it's like you can do that. Oh, oh my <laughs> comparison, God. Yes. Comparison. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes, you know, yes, the, I have to learn to the uniqueness back. of yeah. each and every child. Yeah. Yeah. Like in the process of twins, yeah. jo- Joel and Daniel. Daniel that yeah. that was really where I saw it because mm-hmm. Joel was a twin and they're different. Yes, totally yes. different. Joel yes. was on sucking his tongue. Daniel mm-hmm. sucked her finger. Mm-hmm. Um, Joel was an extrovert. Daniel an introvert. Wow. Joel walked on his heels. I think it was, and Daniel mm-hmm. walked on, on her toes. toes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was different. <laughs> Different. Wow. And one of the things that we didn't practice to do either yeah. is to dress them alike. Yeah, so like the, the, the second set of twins are two girls, Janelle yeah. and Janelle. Yeah. We didn't dress them alike. Oh, if okay. they had on the same thing as somebody, by a character, I mean, yeah. probably one day we say, I'm going to wear the same thing. But you accept them as, or from early as, as individuals, as individuals yeah. which is so, so good. Yeah. Do you have any final thoughts on, on parenting? Well, <laughs> 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 for, me, for me, I want to say, um, I, I'm in the process mentally of writing a book yes. on parenting. And it's yes. called Sailing on the Seas of Parenting. So if I see it anywhere, I know you stole it from me. That's right. right. <laughs> and then there are three C's. Yes. You know, you know, stage of parenting. You have yes. the caregiver. Yes. Then you have the coach. Yes. And then you have the counselor. Yeah. So you start as a caregiver, you know, taking mm. care of the child, you know, the, the nappy and the pampas, so yes. and you know, all of that. And then you come to the place where they are maturing, you're mm-hmm. adult less sense. Right. You know, in your adolescence. Sense, yes. <laughs> yeah. And this is, you, know, you have to put the sense in, in as yes. a coach. You know, mm. you can be on the field as a player coach, mm. right? But then there comes a time when you have to be a counselor yeah. where you can't dictate. Yes. But you just show, show, show the options. Yeah. And the repercussions. Yeah. You know? So these are, this is it. Mm. And know yeah. that yeah. I'm your parents for. I'm your dad forever. forever. No yeah. one else can claim yeah. rights to my yeah. set of twins. Yeah. Right? Yeah. No one else. You're the parent. If you're father, you're stepfather. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you stepped in after I died. <laughs> right? After I gone, I ain't going nowhere. Exactly. Alive. Amen. After I died, you're coming yes. there. Yes. Okay? Amen. <laughs> yeah, but I yes, encourage you. <laughs> <laughs> I just encourage you guys, you know, to. Yeah. Um, Appreciate the different stages. Yeah. Appreciate them and yeah. l- learn them. Yeah. Understand, you know that. Yes. The season changes. Yeah. And when it changes, change with it. Change with them. So if you're not the counseling, the mother with the dad or the caregiving yeah. stage, right. you cannot get yes. parents yes. treating yes. twenty year old as if they're five. Five. I know yes. that. Yes. It's like crazy. Yes. Yes. All right. So, so my, my last word would be to our Jamaicans and to everybody in this world. <laughs> yes, that's right. Um, <laughs> How oh, important it is to understand that as parents, if we don't nurture them correctly, yeah. we lose them to early pregnancy. We yeah. lose our girls and our boys to early pregnancy. Yeah. Because we have some fathers who are 15, 12. 12. Yeah. yeah, and our girls are 12, 11, yeah. you know, become, become mothers early. And so my, my encouragement to us as parents, 
is yes. get all the information that you can find. Yeah. We need that big of you. Educate and, and we don't want our children, our boys, especially our boys, to end up in a prison. Yes. Because they would not have gotten your love and your attention yeah. and your proper care. Yeah. And, and that, that is to the fathers and to the mothers. Yeah. So my suggestion to us is learn all that you can in this season. Be that big of you. Mm-hmm. And as you give it to them, willingly and heartedly, yeah. they'll come, they, they, our nation can become better. Yeah. Better yeah. because we would have poured right into them yeah. to help them to become strong men and strong women. Amen. And better parenting leads to a better nation, Amen. a better society. Yeah. And that's what we are encouraging today on Talking Truth, you know, better parenting, better parenting in our communities, in our churches, in our homes, in this nation, in this region, the Caribbean. Yeah. And, uh, yes. And we would, I believe, we'll see a reduction in crime, Definitely. a reduction in killing if we spend more time being better parents yeah. and encouraging others in becoming better parents. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so much, much for joining me today on, on Talking Truth. Thank you. Normally I'll have Gillette, but today yeah. I have the opportunity of both Mr. and Mrs. Grant. And they are, as I syndicated, are the founders of Odigia Global, uh, which is a marriage ministry, right? Well, it's more than marriage ministry. We yes. have to do leadership and personal development. Leadership and parenting. personal parenting. and parenting. Yeah. So <laughs> we, 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 we're having this discussion now because in case you're watching, and you need parental advice, you may give them a call. You may give them a call and they're going. their numbers are going to be coming up on the screen right now. Give them a call. We're here to help. We're here to support. We're not just here to talk, talk to and yeah. leave it there. You right. know, just talk, you know, yeah. empty talk. Yeah. But we're here to help, to, to bring truth to you, to bring clarity, and to help you to become a better person. Yeah. So thank you again, Reverend Grant and Minister Grant. And thank you. So our viewing audience are watching Talking Truth yet another time. We want to hear from you. And so we invite you to give us your feedback. You may email us. Our information is at the bottom of the screen. Or you may give us a call. We'll be happy to take your call and to hear what you have to say to us. Until next time, I'm Dan Hanson. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching with us in another episode of Talking Truth. Join us next week as we explore another hot topic as we talk truth. It's the truth. It's talking truth. Bringing truth to life.